What's up, YouTube? Hope y'all solid. Hope y'all living a good life. Hope y'all having a good morning, good afternoon, all that, all that, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Welcome to another video. Uh, today, we got meetups. I got a meetup all the way in Downey. I got, I got to pick up some shoes that are finally done getting iced and cleaned. Um, and then later, I'm a show y'all and tell y'all how to resell sneakers and other items and like clothing and you know vape and all that whatever good stuff in 2023 because it's reselling is entirely different now it's it's like it's not like how it was two years ago when everybody was making money off it like anybody can get a pair for retail anybody can get a pair for resale and tax and get and get bread everybody was making bread off it and now i'm noticing in my dms a lot of resellers are trying to sell me their stock because they can't make sales which is good for me respectfully but there is a way that y'all can resell without only selling to resellers if you only want to sell to resellers don't watch that segment watch the meetups watch all this stuff watch all the nice videos and everything but don't watch the segment of me trying to teach you how to resell because bruh it's different now you gotta go with the times and you gotta stay true to yourself too don't don't change that but go with the times because you know reselling's gonna die and like i give reselling like five to ten years like five being the least amount of years and ten being like if they make it to 10 years, God damn, like people just love buying expensive stuff. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna go to the meetups. And I got a ship, hold on, hold on. Got a motion. <clears throat> all these orders sold, I mean, all these orders from uh, this weekend and I gotta uh, pack some more cause some more stuff sold this morning, so. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Say what's up. Say what's up. Say what's up. He mad at me because I threw his ass off the bed. He be doing too much. But I'm going to catch y'all at the meetup. All right. Deuce. Hopefully you cop use the subscription, man. Did we already agree on prices? Yeah. Uh, what was it for these? 170. 170, right? All right. 180 on these, right? Yeah, 180, right? This one with the red laces, too? Oh, yeah, cool. Appreciate that. So I take the box up, it's cool. Starfishes. And how, it was 50, right? All right. You have Zell, right? All right, appreciate you, bro. Just this for now? It's cool. I don't got that much cash to spend anyway, so. 80? 80? Yeah. Where you got like one? I paid 130. 130? Yeah. I'll probably hold off on this. 11 and a half. 140? I'll be at 150. I'll sell them for like 180, 190. I'll be at 150 though. Uh, 160? Like two, two? We're still up there. They're still up there? Both haven't dropped the other one. These these for show drops. No, but like compared to the other ones. Oh yeah. Two? Yeah. The other the other two colorways oh, don't go for sad. nothing. <laughs> um quick one sixty, but I don't know. Lots. What's what's the lot number? Mm -hmm. Lot eleven. Lot eleven? Three? Probably three fifty. Nah. Nah, nah, I can't. I I can't pay well on lots no more. They just don't move. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, you from at three fifty? Probably three forty. Ah, that's cool. I'll come back to these if anything. These used? Yeah. Do a hundred on them? One twenty. I have an offer at one forty. I don't know. You still don't know the shit, bro. We gonna we gonna get you past that. One twenty. Yeah. What size is it? That's you do, way I see it you do 110 on them? 120, bro. 120? I'll do that. I'll show you. Like, you under a bill, right? 
Yeah. Uh, Not too far, but yeah. like 60. I was thinking 80. Not no box. Oh, we have 60. I'll sell them for 100. No. I think this one is a size 8 for sure. Yeah, these are the same condition. I think it was size 8 with that. Mm. That wouldn't make sense. <laughs> Say, come on, bro. I hear all the bullshit every day. Yeah. <laughs> 180? Yeah. You firm with that? I'm not firm, but. Give me your best price. Give me the best price. I gave you my best price. So like. I'll do one sixty five. One sixty five. Just because they, they're all clean as fuck. Uh. And then this one is hitting for three hundred. I fifty. I just sold them like for like, a bunch of them for like one sixty five, one seventy. On my story sale. So. I'd be at sixty. I'd sell them for like ninety five. Mm, put bucks. them to the side. All right. Um. Ooh, 50. 50? Bro, where are you at? <laughs> I just put them back. You had 100? Yeah. I can't tap. See, like, you see, you be seeing my story cells, right? You be seeing them, bro. I'm going fucking fast as fuck yeah. sometimes. Yeah, I can't, I can't uh, tax on shit that doesn't really move anymore. I try, I, it was good when I was just getting shoes and it had a variety, but like, not no more. It's just, it's not like that it's no dead. more. It's really not like that no more. Bro, back then you could fucking wax on anything. Bro. Flip anything. Bro, I used to go to the far side game, like a lot of money. I used mm -hmm. to go to Foot Locker and buy clothes and shit. Mm -hmm. Put them up and make 20 bucks. What? Like the same day. <laughs> back then, what are you See? talking about? Exactly, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I literally, bro. The intro to this video, I said I'm gonna teach y'all how to resell in 2023. It's not the same nah. as two years ago. It's not. You can't just flip. Literally, you can't be the nigga on Alpha that has shoes and then people gonna buy because you got shoes. Everybody got shoes now, so it's like. They look at the best prices and stuff. Best prices and the person, like that's what plays a big role, bro. For real. Nothing, I don't know. <laughs> uh, forty. I paid fifty. I paid fifty. That's cool. That's all right. They're clean enough. A lot of thirteens are my personal, bro. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> it's not what you. I ain't gonna lie to you. You see some crazy ass number. <laughs> what you? Where you at, bro? Where are you at? <laughs> <laughs> Keep it a bed. Where did you start? Oh man. Bro, I, I, I gotta be knowing. Gotta keep it real, bro. Like, it's only some crazy shit. I give you generous 130. Pull your off. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I think. That's not that often. Yeah. But. Oh, nah. You know what's gonna fuck with those, bro. Well, you know, you know, sometimes you just go in the store and you just start seeing shit. And you, you just wanna buy shit. Just to buy shit. Well, you know what? Me. You know what? I don't do that no more. I don't, like, I don't see something, I'll be like, I'm gonna fuck with it. But then I'll be like, I always think about my business and what I could like Bro. spend on it. Oh, you took this off? Oh uh, yeah. Well, I didn't. It came like that. Ah, <sighs> really? I guess. No Kidding mind. me? He got me. <laughs> yeah, now nah, I'm really about to love all you. <laughs> this looks better like this though to me. I like mm, this, but it does. But I didn't even know it came. Like that. that shit is tough, actually. I have these. I keep the. I got a personal of these. Bro, you fucking got me, bro. They got you? They did the, I'm gonna roll it up. <laughs> uh, they did it. That's where I was seen like this. I was like, what the fuck is this? Bro, it's what cool. the fuck? Yeah, I'm not even gonna offer you, bro. It's bro, cool. Sneaky um, where you I, been at, bro? Fuck. Work, bro. You see, fucking, you see what I do? All the YouTube videos. I just work, bro. It's just go to a lot of convention centers. Yeah, because, yeah. bro, that's a gold mine. Yeah. Bro, people, but when you go, all there is is people that want to sell their shoes because they can't sell them at home. Yeah, so they really to give good ass deals when you go to an event. That's why I go to events. I, like meetups are cool. I like, meet up with you and like, you know, other meetups well, are cool. That's better because it's multiple people. I can go. And you're networking at the same time. Exactly. And I can record content. And your clients. Exactly. That's a plus. Come on, <laughs> you're getting money without getting money. <laughs> exactly. Honey. Other ones then. Fair amount, honey. Firm? Yeah, I was gonna offer eighty, but son, finally, fuck. Look, I'm fair, bro. I paid eighty. You good? One hundred twenty. You know what I mean? No, no, if no. I'm I, if I'm I making twenty, that. you know how I am. I do. I feel you. If I'm I making twenty on the other. See, me. see, like people gotta learn from people like you. <laughs> people gotta learn people like you. Fifty. <laughs> you can do fifty, bro. You're bugging. You know you can do fifty. I'm only trying with twenty on them. I had to fucking put TLC into them shit. Fifty-five. <laughs> 
Fuck with me, with me, with me. I could do 60. I could do 60. That's cool. I could. Those shoes are going for like 340, right? Yeah, I can sell them. I can sell them. used to go for like 100. Ah, these are ugly, bro. <laughs> these suck. Nah, hell no. Nah. Hell no! Nah. You know how to put your shit on? No! These are hey, garbage! You, you like putting your shit on? So no, this shit's garbage. <laughs> these are garbage. Uh, nah, I'll be at like 20 bucks on these, bro. 20? Yeah, 20? Yes, yeah, 20, bro. Oh, pass on those, but I don't even want to take them out. <laughs> 40? Yeah. Bro, I'm not going to take too much. So I'm just grabbing these then? <clears throat> Alright, that's about it, man. Good little small, little, little cheap stack. I'm trying to pass the best thing. Try to do the best I can. You feel me? But uh add it all up, then well, I'll pay you. I got cash of course. One, two, three, sixty. Give it extra ten. Gave him an extra, extra see, 10. I gave him an extra ten because it was five fifty, but it but I don't have no ten dollars. And I was like, you know what? I've been cashing out Matt for fucking how long? Two years now? Bro, since you started, bro. Two years. He was thugging it on off-road fucking... You came like at 12, bro. At God, night. It was hustling. Rainy. <laughs> hustling, bro. Fucking fucking Come on, bro. Don't skip steps ever, bro. Ever, bro. Feel me? I bought these for $50 on the way to cash out my homie. And he bought to buy them off me for 100 I just turned 50 to 100 in 30 minutes. Come on, bro. Resale. Yeah, for sure. That's hard though. You got it from Sticker Plug LA, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up my order from him right now. I already paid you for these, huh? Yeah, you did, right? Yeah. Alright, so on my way to go pick up some clothing right now. Um, I already sold like half the order. Uh it's it's the spider hoodie, spider sweats. And I think that's about it right now. But I'm away to go do that right now. But um, those fours I just showed y'all in the last little clip or whatever, those are grade school sizes. I, I, those don't come out till May, but um, I, I caught men's sizes and they sold pretty quick. So now I got grade school sizes for the ladies because I know ladies, a lot of girls was asking about those shoes. Now that I have them, you feel me, we going we gonna to see how those sell. I got a size run five wide through seven wide. So if you need, I'm release fours. Hit me up. I got you. But um, uh, I'm kind of frustrated right now because uh, I dropped off a couple shoes to go get like iced and clean like a month ago, and he's not even finished yet. So I just like I, a month is crazy, bro. A month is insane. But you know what? Whatever. Whatever. I might just start icing shoes myself. I already clean shoes myself. I might just start icing shoes myself. Fuck it. But I'll probably just see y'all when I get home. And then when I get home, we're going to talk about how to resell in 2023. Soon we go home. Deuce. All right. Now for the main reason you guys are watching this video. You guys want to learn how to resell in 2023. Resell, not just sneakers, any fucking thing. Okay. People will say we're in a recession. No. We're not in a recession. People are just picking and choosing who the fuck they wanna buy from. Let's be real. There are people still scamming, getting money out here. So there's people with money. And yes, there's a there's people with money out here to spend, okay? On sneakers, clothing, whatever the fuck it is. Doesn't matter. Clientele is everything. We're not in a recession, bro. Not in my opinion. Like, this is just my opinion. We're not in a fucking recession. I don't, I don't think we are, okay? We're not. Anyways. There are three, I wrote them down on my little, my little notes, my little note thing right here. It's just keywords, right? Ain't nothing crazy. Anyways, but it's not, I'm not about to sit here for 30 minutes and just say a, a Morse code on how to, how to resale because there's no fucking Morse code. It's just three simple rules you need to follow. If you follow these three rules, I promise you, you will make more sales than you made last week. Okay. First rule, first rule and the most important rule to me, being trustworthy. Trustworthy meaning being honest with yourself first. Because once you start lying to yourself, you start lying to other people, okay? If you start lying to yourself about, oh, this pair looks real, you're gonna start lying to other people saying, the pair is real, and I don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, right? Being trustworthy is everything. 
right? People care about who they're buying from. People care about who they're spending their money with. Like people care. Become a trustworthy individual if you run or run any business, okay? Be trustworthy. Care about your clientele. Like you just wanna hold them. Like you just wanna hold your clientele in a, in a, in a little, a little, like this. You just, want, you just want to hold them, you know? Got to show them love, kiss them on the forehead. Show them love. That's why anybody that shops with me, they'll always know I'm moving with love because I even say it out loud. People be like, thank you. I don't even, I don't even say you're welcome. I say love. That's it. Because that's how I move. And that's how I gain my clientele, right? That's the main reason why I gain my clientele. And that's why it's still growing. And that's why I'm not going to stop because one, I'm a trustworthy individual. I'm not gonna stop because it's gonna keep growing. No cocky shit. Who the fuck wouldn't wanna shop with a nice guy like me, bro? If I have your size, if it's a good price, why wouldn't you wanna shop with me? Tell me why, is it because I'm black? Shut up. Rule number two, right? Scale your audience. I'm gonna break this shit down, right? If you're watching this YouTube video, you already know how to do it. If you watched my TikTok videos, you already know how to do it. I'm doing it. I'm giving you a blueprint without even saying nothing, right? My niche is posting videos and being my complete self on camera. People are drawn towards me. People are drawn towards me just being like authentic to other people, right? And I show nothing but love and I put that on camera, right? I do meetups. People love hearing me conversate for sneaker deals and they'll be like, oh, you got, you got good deals, blah, blah. But when you do that, you gotta know how to deal with bad comments sometimes because people be saying some bad comments, but that doesn't matter, right? But scale your audience, bro. If you're, say you don't wanna post like uh, on TikTok and YouTube, which you should, which you should, that is your best case scenario to grow your audience. TikTok, YouTube is your best, for Snapchat too. I've heard some shit about Snapchat, your best friend. But if you don't wanna do that, Instagram is everything in the sneaker world, right? You can scale an insane audience on Instagram. I know one dude that only posts Instagram reels and he has like 50,000 followers. He's been reselling for two years. Hey, hey, to each his own. Dog, if you think you about to just get pairs in 2023, right? with no clientele, no audience, and just post them on Instagram because you think that's the cool thing to do nowadays, right? And you think you're gonna make sales? You're not. You're not. You're not. You're gonna be another reseller in another reseller's DM saying, are you buying, are you buying, are you buying? I respect people that do that because they wanna move their pairs. I love it because that's how I get majority of my stock. People, always, people be like, are you buying, are you buying, are you buying? Yes, but for the people that actually want to make this a business and not just a hustle, not just a side hustle, scale your audience so you can start selling to people that are actually going to wear the fucking shoe. Because those people pay the most money. Resellers don't pay the most money because they have to resell the shoe. Scale your audience. Rule number three, consistency. Consistency is everything. And I feel so strongly about this because without consistency, I, blah, 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 blah. without consistency, I wouldn't be who the where the fuck I am now. Okay. And be consistent in your own way too. Like if you have a schedule, stay consistent with that schedule. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, you need to post two times a day. You need to do no. If you have a schedule where you need to post three times a week, right, for you, stay consistent with that schedule and watch how it works. Do be consistent with that schedule for two, three, four, five months. Do that shit. It will be fucking insane for you, right? Consistency is everything. I post uh, YouTube videos every week. I know I had a, I took a week off because uh, my editor was going through stuff. But other than that, other than that, I post a YouTube video a week. I get three videos. Uh, three short clips for my YouTube video. I post those on post those on TikTok every single week, and I post three reels every single week. And that's me scaling my audience 
and doing the consistency rule at the same fucking time. And people think it's hard. It's not hard. I do it all from my fucking phone. It's not hard. You, you be in the bed or be in the crib all day. If you're not at school, you be in the crib all day anyways. God damn. Consistency is everything, okay? And rule number four and the last rule, right? The last rule, okay? I didn't write it down, but I just remembered it. Sales over profit. Prioritize sales. Sales are fucking everything, okay? Everything. Because you want to know why? Sales show all three of these rules. Don't look at that. My pen was messing up. All three of these rules. Sales will show all of that. Sales, sales, my bad. Sales will show that you're trustworthy. If you sold, no one can talk shit about you if you sold 2,000 pairs in a year. No one can talk shit about you if you're moving 200 pairs a month. No one is going to talk shit and not trust you if you're doing that, right? And if you have sales, the more you're gonna scale your business because the more you sell, the more you sell, the more your shoes be in other people's hands. Then when they're in other people's hands, those people around them are gonna ask you, where do you get the shoes from? I'm, I'm cracking the fucking code. You're welcome. Sales over profit. Profit meaning like if the fucking profit, say you got a shoe, say you got a major steal, say you got some black cat fours for 150 used but good condition those resell all day for 450 right say you posted them for 450 you getting offers for for uh for 400 380 370 you paid a hundred my nigga sell the fucking shoes and get that 300 profit bro like stop being greedy with profit you will you, no one will shop with you bro you feel me? My pro, you know what's crazy? No one can ever call me greedy though. Wanna know why? Cause my system's different. My profit margin margins are way smaller than stores or than like more than all, half these resellers, but my profit margins are small, bro. And more sales mean more money in your pocket, bro. Volume and quant, volume over, over, is it quantity, quantity? No, I don't wanna sound stupid right now. But volume of sneakers beats profit all day. I'd rather sell 600 pairs of sneakers for $10 profit each, $10 profit each, than, than selling 600 pairs of sneakers and wait, waiting for a 50 to 60 to $100 profit on each. I'm not waiting for that, that's stupid. If I, if I do 10, what's that? 600 times 10, six bands. Six thousand dollars. You walking out on because you just want you don't want to you just don't want to move the fuck on and reinvest, bro. Because you know what's crazy? I keep I I have a system, bro. No matter if I don't profit as much as or whatever, all that money's gonna get reinvested anyways. I just started paying myself. I just started. I just opened another account to pay myself. I just started that shit, and I I barely pay myself anything. I'm pretty much working at KFC still. I'm pretty much working at KFC. With the fucking check I'm getting, I'm broke as shit. Robert's broke. Cuddy's up. Robert is broke. Cuddy is up though. Robert is broke. Yeah, man. I'm, as you can see, I'm passionate about this shit because when I put a lot of effort into something, I get I get real behind it, and I'm behind reselling, bro. Reselling's not gonna die anytime soon. If you think 10 years is, is five to 10 years is soon, damn, you have insane anxiety, okay? But reselling's here to stay, but it's only here to stay for the people that actually wanna do these rules, okay? And these rules are vital if you want to grow, if you just started reselling now. It's vital, vital, vital. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now. Hope y'all good. Hope y'all paying y'all child support on time because we don't like crazy baby mamas. And hope y'all start reselling.
Nothing but love. Appreciate y'all. Deuce.